But we need to grow up to the point where I can open up the Word of God and read it and process it and apply it in my life. So I'm not always dependent on others doing all the work for me. In fact, Hebrews 6 says, let's stop going over the basics of Christianity again and again. Let us go instead and become mature in our understanding. Surely we don't want to start all over again with the importance of turning away from evil deeds and placing our faith in God. It's called growing up spiritually. When I was a kid in school, I heard this phrase a lot. Greg Laurie, will you just grow up? In fact, my wife said this to me the other day, <laughs> which is sad, because I'm 64 years old. She said, Greg, you need to grow up. And I'll tell you, I don't even want to reveal why she said it. <laughs> Do you want to hear why? Okay. Okay, we're, there was a store. We had dinner, and there was a store, and it was closed. And there were still people inside because they'd closed their doors, they'd been closed for four minutes. So Kathy's looking in the window, and my grandkids are looking in the window, and I knocked on the window and walked off. So the <laughs> salesperson turns over, and my wife's standing there. <laughs> she says, Greg, stop acting like a sixth grader. Then my, one of my granddaughters, Riley, said, yeah, Papa, stop acting like a sixth grader. You're a pastor. Oh, gee. <laughs> they were right. But it was fun. <laughs> but I heard that a lot, grow up, grow up. And it's something we need to do. Obviously, I need to work on that a little bit more. But this is the thing, you need to grow spiritually. And the Bible says that God has given us pastor, teachers, evangelists, prophets, and apostles for the building up the faith, for the work of the ministry, that we might grow up and no longer be like little children tossed back and forth with every different kind of teaching. We need to grow up and learn to feed ourselves and learn how to live and think biblically.